Hit that sub button, guys. So apparently, Joshua thinks Joseph Parker has no chance in hell in hurting him. Because during the Gloves Are Off uh, video that I saw, Joshua was going around saying that Parker doesn't have enough power to hurt him. Because he was saying, he was insinuating that, you know, Parker's been going around saying that, you know, he has a glass chin. You know, he doesn't take the best punches in the world. You know, I guess he doesn't have the best chin. But Parker, but Joshua doesn't believe that uh, Parker could actually hurt him. Well, I actually beg to differ. Uh, I don't just think that Parker could hurt Anthony Joshua. I think he could seriously hurt him and drop him. Um, I've seen Anthony Joshua hurt on several occasions in his career. I've seen Anthony Joshua get caught on several occasions in his career. Uh, there's been many rumors of Anthony Joshua not having the best punch resistance. Now, obviously, this is the heavyweight division, uh, so anything can happen. Uh, but I actually think that if Parker's going to hurt Joshua, if there's going to be a time in this fight where you see uh, Joshua getting hurt, it's probably going to be in the second half of the fight when Joshua is exhausted. Because I think when Joshua is exhausted, when he's uh, out of breath and when he's gassed out, I think that's when he's most in his most vulnerable. Uh, because if you notice, any time in, in, in at least in his professional experience, in his in his professional boxing career, any time he's ever been hurt, uh, it's always been after like four or five rounds when he got stunned against uh, Dillian White, I believe. Well, no. Because didn't he get caught against... No, I should take that back because he did get caught early against Dillian White. I believe he got rocked in the second round, wasn't it? Yeah, it was. Uh, but when he got dropped by uh, Vladimir Klitschko, he was exhausted against Vladimir Klitschko. That's what I was thinking about the Vladimir Klitschko fight. He got dropped against Vladimir Klitschko. He was exhausted. Uh, I saw him getting hurt. Uh, no, I saw him getting caught against Carlos Tackham. Uh, he wasn't hurt by none of his punches, but he was getting caught by Carlos Tackham. I even saw him getting caught by Dominic Brazil. So, you know, when it comes to AJ, he's not this, you know, hard to hit heavyweight. Uh, I think, uh, you know what I think it is? I think Anthony Joshua is, I think what happened is Anthony Joshua saw Joseph Parker's fight with uh, Hughie Fury. And if you remember, uh, during that, in the lead up of that fight, Anthony Joshua, AJ was saying, yo, when they were asking him about his opinion of that fight, AJ was picking Joseph Parker to knock out Fury. He was saying he thinks Huey Fury is going to get knocked out against Joseph Parker. So when that fight happened and when uh, Joseph Parker went the distance with Huey Fury, I remember, uh, I believe I made a video about it. Uh, Anthony Joshua was going around saying that he was surprised that uh, that fight went the distance. So I think what it is with Anthony Joshua is maybe, perhaps, he's underestimating Joseph Parker now. Because when he saw that fight with uh, Huey Fury, he thought to himself, man, this guy couldn't knock out Huey Fury. Huey Fury has no punching power. But what Anthony Joshua needs to understand is Huey Fury was making it really difficult for Joseph Parker. Joseph Parker was trying. Trust me. He was trying to knock Fury out. I mean, he was going after him. He was being aggressive. Um, but I think what Anthony Joshua has to realize is Fury was so negative. He was so negative. He was fighting, you know, with, su like, with such a negative... Uh, and boring and type of uh, I'm gonna hit you and I'm gonna win a points decision type of fight. Like he was fighting one of those lame type of fights. You guys know what I'm talking about. When a dude be a, you know the dude's trying to go the distance. Like the the way Fury fights, you know the way Huey Fury fights, you know he wants to go the distance. You know he ain't trying to knock nobody out. He ain't trying to knock nobody out, dude. He's just trying to go the distance. Uh, anybody who sees his style, his style, you know, immediately could tell that that's the type of fighter he is like he doesn't care about entertaining the fans he doesn't care about going for broke he does he's not that type of dude he doesn't have that type of dog in him Hugh Fury he's a guy that he is uh content with going a doing a points decision and leaving with you know he doesn't care basically if the fans boo him and that's why he doesn't have a big fan base and that's why 
you know, he had a fight on YouTube because nobody cared about Hugh Fury. And that fight happened in the UK, yet nobody cared about Fury, Hugh Fury. Uh, but yeah, what AJ has to realize is it was hard. It was difficult for uh, Fury, I mean for Parker to cut the ring off on Fury. Because he, because a he's he's really fast with his legs. I think he has underrated uh, foot speed, Hugh Fury, and he's so negative the way he fights. Kind of like when you guys remember when Dillian White uh, went the distance with, you know, Robert Hellenius. Robert Hellenius was doing the, the same thing uh, Hugh Fury was doing, except he wasn't as fast. He was attempting to fight negative. He was being he was trying to outbox Dillian White, and that fight went the distance. Heavyweights. Especially if they're not the fastest on their feet, have problems cutting off the ring. When it comes to, I think maybe Anthony Joshua saw the point is I think Anthony Joshua might might have saw Parker struggle with Fury, and he thought to himself, "Well, if he didn't have the power to hurt Fury, how is he supposed to hurt me, dude? How the hell is he supposed to hurt me?" Again, because Fury, if you look at that fight, Joseph Parker, a lot of times he was lunging, he was lunging against the. Uh, uh, Hugh Fury, and it was because he was trying to catch Fury because Fury was fighting so negative. And when he was lunging, he was actually taking a lot of the, in my opinion, I think he was taking a lot of the luster out of his punches, a lot of the power out of his punches because he was because he was literally, like I said, uh, jumping in. So you take a lot of your, your power from that when you you know throwing these looping punches. So I think that's what you know Anthony Joshua has to realize because when it comes to his style with with uh, Parker, it's going to be a lot easier in my opinion for Parker to land on Joshua. It's going to be a lot easier because he's going to be standing. He's going to be a lot more stationary. He's going to be a lot. He's not going to be mobile. You're not going to see Joshua moving the way uh, Fury was doing. So it's not going to be harder. It's going to be more easy for Parker to land on Joshua. Parker, like I said was, you know, Fury was giving Parker hell with that movement. Um, so it's going to be a lot easier for Parker to land. Again, I've seen several fighters clip AJ. I saw Dominic Brazil. Dominic Brazil is very slow. Very slow. Dominic Brazil is slow. I get it. He has a lot of heart. I'm not saying he doesn't have heart. He has a lot of heart. He showed against, uh, God, what was that guy's name? And, and Dango, I think that's, no. Uh, not Julius and Dango. You know that dude he fought that Polish dude. I forgot his name. I totally forgot his name. Uh, but yeah, he showed a lot of heart there. He showed a lot of heart against AJ himself. But the dude is slow. Slow as hell. And um, he was able to land on AJ. Dillian White was able to land on AJ. Uh, you know... I think even Eric Molina was able to land on AJ. And definitely Tackham was able to land on AJ. So Parker is definitely going to be able to land on AJ. Um, the thing with Parker is he just has to be careful. Because I actually think when you exchange with AJ, I actually think that's a good time to hurt AJ when you exchange with him. Because when Dillian White rocked AJ, he was exchanging with AJ. AJ was coming forward. Look, If you look at that second round, I believe it was, AJ was coming forward. And Dillian White was throwing punches with AJ as he was coming forward. And that's when he caught him. Because when AJ, one thing I noticed with AJ, when he goes for broke, he leaves himself open. Uh, so I think that's actually a good time to hurt a AJ. Is letting your hands go when he's letting his hands go. Because he's left, you know, he leaves himself open. But again, that's obviously dangerous because AJ is a puncher himself. And uh, a lot of fighters don't aren't willing to exchange with him because if they exchange with him, they might get hurt themselves. You see what I'm saying? But again, uh, sometimes you got to do, again, I think uh, Parker has a good chin. I think if, as, as long as he uh, had tucks his chin down and as long as he uh, does, he doesn't do this all the time, but does it enough to make the fight competitive like let exchanges with AJ when they're in the center, then I think he could definitely has a chance to hurt him uh, and definitely uh, stop him. Uh, again, do I think Joseph Parker is the biggest puncher at heavyweight? No, uh, I think Joseph Parker is an average puncher. I think he's kind of a puncher like uh, Joe Ramilla. Joe Ramilla is another guy. He's like an average puncher. Dylan White's an average puncher. 
Um, so I think Joseph Parker is like that type of heavyweight. He's like a uh, uh, a Dillian White slash Jarrell Miller type of puncher. Uh, I think that's the type of p punching power he has. I think AJ and both guys like Wilder, I think they have better, uh, you know, I think they're they're bigger punchers than guys like, you know, Parker and uh, Dillian White and these guys. But I still think he has enough punching power to hurt uh AJ, especially if he catches him, because this is the heavyweight division, and especially if he uh, exchanges with him while they're letting the, the principles. Anyway, guys, that's all I have to say. Uh, let me know what you guys think of this video. Do you guys agree with uh, AJ? Do you guys think that Parker has no uh, punching power? He doesn't have the punching power to hurt AJ. According to AJ, that's what he, he believes. Let me know in the comment section below, and like always, if you watch the video from start to finish, much appreciated, guys. Subscribe for daily boxing videos, guys. Thanks for watching. I'm out.